Hello, hello, hello. Here is a unboxing video for the stacker by LCX Industries. So I have just gotten this post from uh, from the nice store of voltage in the heist desk in Vienna. Maybe if it's in German or Austrian. And da, da, da. so we install the Xbox boxes, the Gen 3 modules, of which that's what Stacker is, and plastic, we've got the cardboard, we've got the ribbon cable. And let's bring it up a little closer and let's adjust the focus. Yeah, so we've got the 9 volt or 12 volt power, sorry. We've got the various inputs and outputs, the parts, and Ah, right, let's put it in. All right, pause. So the module is installed up here in the top left. Let's do a crazy zoom to get the focus nice and sharp. So, got the crossfit here, some nice effects with the camera input via visual cortex. And I will hit pause again and yeah, create a kind of a quick batch. Well, this has been a bit of a nice surprise. So what you can't, ah, yeah, let's see if you can see it here. I've got one cable in the bottom output going across to here, channel B on Cortex. Um, and that's what this looks like. And what's really cool is all, let's go up to channel one. That's what channel one looks like. Channel two can also be controlled based on the inputs. So there's definitely a cascading effect. Channel two and channel three. I got some really kind of nice, very fine effects. I thought. And then we can scroll back to the hands, and then we can take uh, one of those out and, for instance, go into the I think of the crossfader input. Mm, cool. Yeah, and I was getting some really nice, interesting, very fine patterns. And the, the two inputs here are just from the DSG that's neighboring it. Uh, nothing for the, for the two. I'm using the top left and the bottom right outputs. Top two switches are down, bottom two switches are down, and uh, the third row of switches are in the middle. So now I'm just tweaking the, what do you call it, tweaking the pots here. Let's see if I can get some of that kind of nice fine detail looking stuff again. Let's pop that one out, pop that one out, because I think that made a difference. Um, So this is the middle row, top row, bottom row. Oh, that's really, 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 really interesting.
And uh, like on the Discord, Fox had mentioned putting uh, using proc, for instance, before or some VCAs before the uh, stacker inputs would be really cool for various signals. I had just put in a couple of the animate uh, outputs in, but they were very, you had to be very particular finding the, 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 the sweet spot. Ah, that was a bad idea. It's very hard to see what it's doing there. Let's try. Ah, oh, nice idea. Let's do this instead. Let's try this to the colorizer. Um, Yeah, this is really cool, I mean, creating these very fine kind of details. Let's try this, let's try this, let's try a couple of other ideas. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Wow. Ah. This is really, 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 really interesting, but I think I'm going to leave it as that now. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to write something in the comments. Uh, any questions? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not the right one to ask, I guess. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye-bye.